and I will pull out a poem to start that I, thank goodness, carry nearby. Peace is this moment without judgment. Do you think peace requires an end to war? or tigers eating only vegetables? Does peace require an absence from your boss, your spouse, yourself? Do you think peace will come some other place than here, some other time than now, in some other heart than yours? Peace is this moment without judgment. That is all. This moment in the heart space where everything that is, is welcome. Peace is this moment without thinking that it should be some other way, that you should feel some other thing, that your life should unfold according to your plans. Peace is this moment without judgment, this moment in the heart space where everything that is, is welcome. So just let your hands rest on your heart for a moment. Allow yourself to the best of your ability as you shelter in place to try to envelop yourself. Maybe in just like a little bubble of peacefulness. Perhaps you picture yourself protected by some force field that's full of peace and safety. And we'll try to move our bodies today. Maybe we'll move a little bit quickly so that it helps us to stay present. Oftentimes when we hold poses, great to build strength, but sometimes holding a pose causes our minds to wander. And maybe today is not the day that we really want our minds wandering so much. So we'll try to keep up a fairly steady pace of movement. So take a nice big breath in, and as you exhale, hug both of your knees into your chest and gently rock yourself from side to side. Open your arms to the side. Let both of your knees fall halfway to the right. Let your head turn to the left. Inhale back to center, and as you exhale, those knees fall halfway to the left, and your head turns to the right. Inhale back to center. And as you exhale, stretch your legs up into the air, toes to your face. Check in with what's going on in the back of your legs today. And then take another nice big sip of air. And as you exhale, lift your head and shoulders. Fingers reach toward your toes. Maybe you lift your hips up a little bit so you start to fire up your belly. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Release your head and shoulders. Arms come down to your side. Slowly lower your right leg almost the whole way down. Let it hover and bring your left knee into your chest. Hold it there. And then lift that right leg back up. Lift that left leg up. Take another nice breath in. As you exhale, take your left hand, reach it toward your right pinky toe. And come back down. Big breath in as you exhale, right pinky finger toward your left pinky toe and come back down. And then begin to lower that left leg almost the whole way down. Hug your right knee into your chest. And then bring your left knee in to meet your right knee. Hold on to your kneecaps, circle your legs all the way around in a nice big circle. And then try to reverse it, go around the other way. Come to a still point, feet come onto the floor, hands at your side, big breath in, press into your feet as you exhale, lift your hips, lift your lower back, your middle back, your upper back. So your, your core is engaged, your glutes are engaged, your arms are easeful, but you can feel your shoulders helping to support you. And then bringing a little bit of shoulder mobility, take a nice breath in, and as you exhale, float your right arm up over your head and leave it there. Take another nice breath in. As you exhale, bring your left arm up over your head and leave it there. And then pressing into your feet, lift your hips a little bit higher. Hold yourself here for three breaths. Big inhale. Exhale one. Another nice breath in. 
Exhale, two. One more big sip of air. And as you exhale, tuck your chin, lower your upper back, your middle back, your lower back, your hips, and your knees come back into your chest. Wrap your arms around your legs. Rock yourself gently from side to side. We'll go through that whole little series just a little bit faster. Arms out to the side, knees halfway to the right, head to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, knees to the left head to the right. Inhale, center as you exhale, legs come up into the air, toes to your face. Big sip of breath. And as you exhale, lift all 10 fingers toward your toes, hips rise a little bit, wake up your belly, and then relax your hips, head and shoulders come down, arm comes down. Right leg comes almost the whole way to the floor, it hovers a few inches above. And that left knee comes into your chest. Maybe this time you even scooch it over and you bring it in toward your armpit, getting deep into that hip capsule. Bring your right leg back up into the air. Left leg meets it. Nice big sip of breath. As you exhale, reach your left pinky finger toward your right pinky toe. Hold it. And release. And then right pinky finger toward your left pinky toe. Hold it and release. Slowly begin to lower your left leg almost the whole way down. Let it hover and bring your right knee in towards your armpit. And then bring your left knee in to meet your right. Hold on to your kneecap, circle all the way around and reverse it, go around the other way. Place your feet on the floor, arms at your side, big breath in. Your exhale lifts your hips, your back. You pause for a moment. Another nice breath in as you exhale, both arms lift up and over your head and we'll stay here for three breaths. Nice big breath in. Exhale one. Another big inhale. Exhale two. One more big breath in, lift your hips a little bit higher. Exhale, three, and then tuck your chin, slowly lower your upper back, your middle back, your lower back, and your hips. Leaving your arms over your head, you can use a little bit of momentum, try to use a whole lot of muscle, and see if you can come to sit from this position. So nice big breath. Use your exhale to help lift your head, lift your chest, and reach yourself all the way up, or just do whatever you have to do to come to sit. Once we're sitting, our feet are gonna stay on the floor. We're gonna work a little bit on our shoulders. So nice sip of air. Exhale, right elbow taps the mat and then lift it up. And then left elbow taps and lift. Right and lift, left and lift. Hold yourself here and if you can, lift up one knee, lift up the other. Stay here for three breaths. Cross your ankles, place your feet on the floor, lift your hips up and roll yourself onto your hands and knees. As soon as you're on your hands and knees, right, we're gonna keep moving quickly. Drop your belly, lift your tailbone, look up. As you exhale, tuck and round. Bring your hips back to your heels, child's pose. Creep those fingers out, make this a working child's pose. What's the difference between a working child's pose and an active child's pose or a relaxing child's pose? We're arms, we're not relaxing our body and letting our arms rest. We're creeping those fingers out. We're actively stretching our whole spine. Big breath in, exhale, come up to all fours. Curl your toes, lift your hips, drop your head, you are in down dog. Because this is our first down dog, we'll pedal our feet out a little bit, shake your booty, bend your knees, tap your heels. And then come to a still point, push that floor away. Your hips are high, your heels are heavy, your head is at ease. Inhale, tippy toes. As you exhale, rock yourself forward to plank, hold it. And then bend your knees, flatten your feet. Once again, here we go. Drop your belly, lift your tailbone, look up. 
as you exhale, tuck and around. Hips come back to your heels, child pose. Creep your fingers out. Nice breath in. Exhale, come to all fours, curl those toes. Lift your hips, drop your head and heels. You're in down dog. Inhale, tippy toes. Exhale, plank. Adding on a little bit, bend those elbows, chaturanga, hover, hover, hover. Straighten your arms, plank. Knees come back to the mat. Flatten your feet. Drop your belly. Lift your tailbone, look up. Exhale, tuck and round. Hips come to your heels, creep your fingers out, lengthen that spine, child pose. Lift yourself to all fours, curl your toes, hips rise, heels and head heavy, down dog. Inhale, tippy toes, exhale, plank. Big breath in, exhale, chaturanga. Hover, 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 hover. Straighten your arms, your back and plank, and then come to your knees, sink your hips to your heels. This time, bring your arms behind you, let your shoulders completely let go. Now you're in a resting child's pose. When we take a few moments after we've moved from one pose to the next, when we've gone through a vinyasa or two, and then we pause, notice what happens. Do you automatically start thinking? Can you stay in your paying attention? Can you stay in that I'm in my body notion? So perhaps you have to focus on something. Maybe you focus on those back ribs and how much they move as you breathe. Maybe you focus on releasing your shoulders a little bit more every time you exhale. Sweep your arms back up, come back to all fours, and then one more time, drop your belly, tailbone raises, look up, big breath in, exhale, tuck and round. We'll skip the child's pose here, come to a neutral spine, curl your toes, lift your hips down, dog. Inhale, tippy toes, exhale, plank, bend your elbows, chaturanga, hover, 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 hover. Straighten your arms. Hips rise again, down dog. Right leg comes up nice and high into the air. Take a big breath in. As you exhale, step your right foot towards your right wrist. So we're gonna just pause here for a moment so you can feel yourself sinking down into that hip joint. So big stretch for that back left leg, but a big oiling of that creaky hip joint in the right hip capsule. And then you're going to send your leg back up into the air. Big breath in, exhale, right foot, right wrist. Send it back out. One more time, right foot, right wrist. Send it back out and then release it down. Come up onto your tippy toes, rock yourself forward to plank. Bring your knees to the floor, flatten your feet. Drop your belly button, lift your tailbone, look up. Exhale, tuck and round. We'll take our child pose this time. Creep your fingers out as your butt comes toward your heels. And then lift yourself to all fours, curl those toes right away. Those hips come up, down dog. Inhale, tippy toes, exhale, plank. Bend your elbows, chaturanga. Straighten your arms, plank, hips come back up, down dog. And now that left leg comes up nice and high. Step your left foot to your left wrist. Send it back out. Left foot, left wrist. Send it back out. One more time, left foot, left wrist. Send it back out. Release your foot to the floor. And now you can walk your feet to your hands, hands to your feet. Knees are bent deeply, bodies draped over your thighs, and you stay here for a few breaths. Begin to straighten your legs, bringing your hands to your shins, look forward. 
And as you exhale, fold forward. Turn your palms upward, float your arms up over your head. Hold on to your left wrist, come down to the right. Inhale, center. And as you exhale, hold on to that right wrist, come down to the left. Inhale, center. As you exhale, open your arms, fold forward. Now your legs are straighter. Nice breath in, hands to your shins, look forward. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees, drop your hips, lift your arms, chair pose. Nice breath in. Exhale, arms come out to the side. Another nice breath in. Exhale, arms come behind you. Another nice breath in. Exhale, arms lift up. And then you fold forward, straighten your legs, look forward. Exhale, fold. Turn those palms upward, float them up. Catch that left wrist, come down to the right. Is your side bend getting a little deeper? Inhale, center. As you exhale, hold that right wrist, come down to the left. Release your arm, fold forward, bend your knees, drop your hips. Once again, those arms come up, Uttanasana, chair pose. Big breath in, exhale, arms come out to the side. Another nice breath in, exhale behind you. Lift them up a little higher. Another nice breath in. This time as you exhale, bring your hands to your heart center. Shift your weight into your right leg. Lift your left leg up. Inhale, stand. Exhale, sit. Inhale, stand. Exhale, sit. Inhale, stand. As you exhale, stay here. Extend that left leg and bend. Extend and bend, extend and bend, hold on to, you can place your right hand on your hip, left hand comes on to that left knee, open that knee out to the side like a creaky old gate, right? So we're kind of doing a lot of oiling of that hip joint and then close, open and close. One more time, open, leave it open, place your foot if you can on your inner thigh. So part of the challenge is not collapsing down into that right hip. You want to keep it nice and straight. If you feel unsteady, you can bring your hands to your heart center. If you feel unsteady, slide your foot down to your calf. And then sweep those arms up over your head. Relax your shoulders. Stay here. Vrakasana tree pose. Open your arms out to the side. Point your knee forward. Start to stretch your leg out behind you, lowering your body down. You can leave your arms extended like airplane wings. And maybe you bend that standing leg and lift. Inhale, bend. Exhale, straighten. Inhale, bend. Exhale, straighten one more time. Inhale, bend. Exhale, straighten. Step your feet together. Sweep your arms over your head. Hold on to that left wrist again. Come down to the right. Inhale, center. Hold that right wrist. Come down to the left. Inhale, center as you exhale, fold forward. How are your forward bends evolving, if at all? Bend your knees, drop your hips, arms raise, Uttanasana. Nice breath in, exhale, arms come out to the side. Another nice breath in, exhale, arms come behind you. Another nice breath in, and as you exhale, you can bring your hands to your heart center. Shift your weight into that left leg, lift up your left knee. Inhale, stand. Exhale, sit. Inhale, stand. Exhale, sit. Inhale, stand as you exhale. Stay here. Extend your leg and bend. Extend and bend. 
extend and bend, left hand onto your hip, right hand onto your knee, open and close. Open and close. Open that leg, leave it open. Can you get your foot onto your inner thigh? Again, if it doesn't stay there, slide it down. If you still don't feel safe, let it rest on the floor. I'd like you to concentrate more on keeping that standing leg straight, keeping your hips face facing forward, and then sweeping those arms up over your head and relaxing your shoulders. Open your arms out to the side. Knee forward, start to stretch that leg out behind you as you lower your body down. Standing leg bends and straightens. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Step your feet together. Sweep those arms back up over your head. And then as you exhale, hands come to your heart center, close your eyes, take a couple of nice resting breaths. Sweep your arms back up, reach up as high as you can. Look up, stretch up, breathe up, palms forward. As you exhale, fold forward. Is this your deepest forward bend yet? And then once again, Bend your knees, drop your hips, arms raise, chair pose, hold it. Arms come out to the side, hold it. Arms come behind you, hold it. And then hands come to your heart center. Again, shift your weight into that right leg. There's a lot of glute and quad work. Lift up that left knee. Now we're gonna bring it behind us. You're gonna curtsy deeply and hold it. Inhale, lift, exhale, chair. Lift up that right knee, cross it behind you, curtsy deeply. Inhale, lift, exhale, chair. A few more times. Left leg curtsy and back to chair. Right leg curtsy and back to chair. Inhale, curtsy, exhale, chair. Inhale, curtsy, exhale, chair. Sweep your arms up, stand up, look up, breathe up, catch that left wrist, last time, down to the right. Back to center, hold that right wrist, come down to the left. Back to center, hands to your heart center, walk or jump your feet about three or four feet apart. Heels are in a little bit, toes are out. Nice sip of air. As you exhale, lower yourself down. You're in your Buddha squat, right? A lot of hip joint action here. You're going to shift your weight. Shifting your weight's really good for balance. Shift your weight over to the right, straighten that left leg. Back to center, maybe a little lower. Shift to the left. Back to center. Maybe you have to switch your feet out a little, fool around with it a little bit. Shift to the right and drop down. Shift to the left and drop. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Stay here. Lift your chest. This is the point where if we we're in the squash court, I would have you all standing against a wall so that your uprightness forces your legs to work a little harder. This also is a really good example of how momentum helps a little bit. When we're swaying from side to side, your legs probably did not feel as if they were being as challenged as they are when you hold a pose. So this is the difference between holding and moving. Moving is more cardio, right? You get that heart rate working. Holding a pose is more musculature. We're just gonna to try to stay here for another 20 breaths. I'm getting another three, big breath in. Exhale one, another big breath in. 
exhale two. One more nice big inhale. As you exhale, straighten your legs, sweep your arms up, nice big stretch. And as you exhale, come forward, take your hands, see if you can hold on to your feet or your ankles. Let your upper body release. Use the weight of your head to stretch your whole vertebrae. And then your left hand's gonna come on top of your right hand. Left hand comes back to your left foot. Right hand comes on top. Right hand comes back. Now maybe you even bring your hand behind your ankles and you try to fold yourself a little deeper together. Take a nice breath in as you exhale, slide your hands up your legs, roll your shoulders back, bend your knees, jump your feet back together, sweep your arms over your head, big breath in, exhale, big forward bend, and then you're going to walk yourself back to plank pose. And you're gonna hold it here. Come down onto your forearms, and when you're on your forearms, see if you can turn your palms upward. This forces them to your core to work a little bit harder. I'm gonna to try to stay here for a few more breaths. Knees to the mat, hips to your heels, arms behind you, child pose. Place your hands next to you. Flop yourself down, swing your legs in front of you. Move the flesh from your sits bones. Sweep your arms up over your head, relax your shoulders. Toes are pointing to your face. Thighs are together, like imagine you're holding a penny between your knees. Nice breath in. Exhale, come forward, 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 and stop. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, arms out to the side. Take your right hand, big breath in. As you exhale, twist, reaching that right hand towards your left foot. Turn your belly, your ribs, your chest, look over your left shoulder. Inhale, lift back up. As you exhale, fold forward again. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, arms out to the side. And now you take your left hand, you twist your body, you bring it to the outside of your right foot, you turn your belly, your ribs, your chest, you look toward that right shoulder. Come back to center, reach your arms up. And as you exhale, fold forward. This time you're gonna hold on to something. Maybe it's your toes, maybe it's the outer edges of your feet. Take another big sip of air. And as you exhale, bend your elbows. So notice that I'm not rounding my spine. I'm trying to keep my spine straight. I'm bringing my chest toward my toes. And with my elbows bent, I can use the strength of my biceps that I know you have as well to help really deepen the stretch in the entire back of my body. Slide your hands up your legs, bend your knees. Lift your right leg so your left foot is anchored to that mat. You're gonna lift your right leg up into the air, circle your ankle around a little bit. We did a lot of standing on one foot. You wanna try to loosen up that ankle joint a little bit. The joints take a beating. And then walk your hands up your leg, lift your chest nice and high. Notice the length of your leg, or I should say the height of your leg, not the length of it. No, notice the height of your leg. And try to keep your leg as high as possible as you let go with your arms. And then you're gonna take a nice breath in and as you exhale, you're gonna lower yourself down a couple of inches. Take another nice breath in as you exhale, lift yourself up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. 
exhale, lift. Take this right leg, put it on top of your left thigh. Hold on to your left thigh, either over your knee or under your knee. Lift that left foot up. And you're going to, with control, lower yourself down onto your back. And you're going to hug that left knee into your chest. And cross your feet. Put them both back down onto the floor. Keep Try to keep that lower back anchored to the mat. Or I think you remember last week, I think we did this. Why don't we do it anyway now? Take your hand and put it underneath your low back, like in that curve of your spine. Take a nice breath in. And as you exhale, press your low back into your hand. Inhale, feel that curve come back. Exhale, as you press into your hand, notice yourself, as I always chuckle, flatten the curve. Inhale, lift, you get that curve back. Exhale, you flatten that curve. And then slide your hand out. Notice how your pelvis is tilted up a little bit. That's helping you to keep that neutral pelvis. It keeps that low back anchored to the floor. This is always supporting and protecting your lower back. So let's see if we can keep our low back anchored to the mat for as long as possible as we bring our arms back up over our head and just like in the beginning, see if we can come to sit. So big breath in. You're protecting your lower back right now. You're pulling your belly in. And as you exhale, you're using as much, as much muscle as you can to come back to sit. And then your right leg stays on the floor and you lift that left leg. That right foot stays on the floor. You lift up your left leg. And you stay here. You circle that ankle around a little bit. And then you go around the other way. Toes to your face, heel presses to the ceiling. Nice long stretch in the whole back of that leg. This should feel okay because we did a lot of forward bending. So this shouldn't feel like too much of a strain. If it does, lower it down a little bit. And then release your arms. Nice breath in. Exhale, lower and hold. Another nice breath in. Exhale, lift, moving a little bit faster. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. And then that left foot comes onto your right thigh. As soon as you do that, you're probably going to feel a little something, something in that left glute. If it's too uncomfortable, move it a little further away. Hold on to either the front of your knee or the back of your knee, wherever you feel like you have more leverage. Engage those abdominal muscles again, because you're gonna use your core to get yourself down safely. Lift that right foot up, nice breath in. Use your exhale, pull your belly in. Feel yourself letting that lower back come down. Then your middle back, we're doing this with control. Then your upper back, then your shoulders, and then that right knee comes in. Uncross your feet, arms come back out to the side. Let your knees come all the way down to the right this time. Right hand rests on your leg, head turns to the left. Pay a little extra attention to what's happening to your left shoulder. All right, this is about the spinal twist. This is about stretching also this left hip. We don't want discomfort to be getting in the way with that left shoulder. So maybe you turn your palm upward. Maybe you even let your left hand rest on your left rib cage. And then bring your hands back to your side for a little bit of support. Inhale your knees back to center. And as you exhale, let them both fall all the way down to the left and your head turns to the right. And again, maybe you turn your palm upward, that helps you get that external rotation in your shoulder joint. It helps you to relax your shoulder a little bit. Good. 
release your hand. Inhale your legs back to center. And as you exhale, stretch them up into the air. Take your right thigh, cross it over your left. You kind of want your knees on top of each other as much as possible. So you maybe even like manhandle yourself and bring those knees on top of each other and then cross your ankles and hold on to your opposite ankles. So your knees are practically stacked on top of each other and you're drawing that right knee closer in toward your chest. You should feel this in that right glute. Release your arms, uncross your legs, bring them back up into the air. Now your left knee comes over your right. You move those legs so they're stacked on top of each other and you hold on to your opposite ankles. Now that left knee is coming in toward your chest, big stretch in that left glute. Uncross your legs, place your feet on the floor, stretch both of your legs straight out in front of you. And then walk both of your feet to the left side of your mat and float your right arm up over your head. So as you do that, you should feel yourself stretching through that right side of your body. And then release your arm down, walk your feet all the way over to the right side of your mat, get your left arm up over your head. And really stretch through those left fingers, take deep breaths into that left side of your body. Release your arm down, walk your feet back to center. One more big sip of air. As you exhale, both arms come over your head, hold on to that right wrist, draw your right arm back. And then hold on to your left wrist, draw that left arm back. Release your wrist, spread your fingers really loud. I mean, loud, <laughs> I'm listening to the. I was just thinking, I'm going to say, I'm sorry that the lawnmower is outside my house. It's so loud. Spread your fingers really wide. Try not to be distracted by the loud lawnmowers. Take a big breath in. Hold your breath. And as you exhale, let your arms fall down to your side. Your shoulders let go. Your belly releases. And if you are noticing the wandering of your mind as your body becomes still, bring it back to feeling something, right? We drop into our physical bodies because it is really challenging to think and to feel at the same time. So if you concentrate on feeling, it slows down your thoughts. You feel all of the parts of your body that are in contact with the mat. Notice the contact between your body and the earth below you, supporting you. Now 
you notice the easeful movement of the front of your body? Perhaps there's just a gentle lifting as you inhale. And then a settling as you exhale. Peace is this moment without judgment. Peace is this moment in the heart space where everything that is, is welcomed. 